referring to yourself as we during internal dialogue? My internal monologue uses we a lot. I also address myself as you. I don't think we, but I always think. Let's, okay, let's go over here to this self-checkout. Let's get the chicken out first. Okay, let's bag it up. Quote. Yes, I do this too. I can also have a conversation with my inner voice and genuinely not know what he's going to say. Obviously I'm fully aware that it's all me. But the head voice me is far. Far smarter than I am and thinks far more quickly. I'm aware that I'm not explaining this well and that I now sound psychotic. Only when I'm trying to get the one ring to rule them all. I wouldn't read too much into it. Personal story, experience. A long time ago, I had written whole bunch of characters for D&D. A few years back, I broke down what had driven me to write each of them what each character was trying to encapsulate about myself without me realizing it. I realized that some of these characters were differing aspects of myself. Some aspects that I had lost over the years and had, honestly, spiraled without. It helped cure a loneliness and emptiness that other people couldn't fill. And grounds me to who I am. When the world tries to tell me otherwise. Or when I've lost myself. Whenever I'm weak and wounded. The strong and resilient side of myself that was written in Aelith comes out to console and comfort. Me. When I'm lacking in confidence. The bravado of Taro comes through. And when I'm anxious of stressed. I feel the peace and serenity of Ember. And sometimes I refer to these different reflections of myself as, we. They're not different people. I'm not fragmented. It's just a better way of bouncing different ideas and perspectives to myself. Not saying for certain that what you're doing is all that similar to my situation. But that the occurrence of referring to yourself as, we, for those with internal dialogue is a much more common one than you would think and in its own right is not something that should give you pause gif no don't listen to the other voice in your head i do it all the time that's been the primary way i refer to myself in my head for as long as i can remember i don't think i say we but i definitely will have a conversation in my head as if it's two different people that I control all the time me and my brain wait till you find out some people don't have internal dialogues we are venom every single time we're a collective no you're the only one you should feel ashamed Sometimes it's, you, but most of the time, we. I'm gonna give you an interesting take on this you may not know of. It's religious but I promise it won't be a sermon lol. Look up, Kareen. Muslims believe we are always accompanied by a spiritual entity so saying, we, during your. Internal dialogue isn't that odd if you're a Muslim because you're not only addressing yourself but also your Kareen, spiritual companion if you're aware of their existence. Might sound weird but actually explains a lot lol hope you'll find the information interesting to read about. And you're not alone lol. From my pov as someone without this internal mono, dialogue, you're all crazy. Never, but we'll start doing that going forward because it's funny. I do that too. Yes I'm pretty sure I do that. Like, okay, now we have to go grocery shopping. Yup. I do it too. It's like there's me. And then there's the awareness that sits behind me. The consciousness that is aware that I exist. And that observes everything. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.